Greetings, people of Earth. This is Mars. Uh, I went to a comic show today. I wanted to show off uh, what I got. I think it is pretty good. Uh, I'm showing here a flyer. Uh, many of the dealers that uh, I dealt with today at this local show will be set up at this uh, show here in uh, January. It ought to be uh, a really good show. One of my good friends is putting together. His name is Eric Meyer. He's a terrific dealer. Most of the folks in this video came from Eric's table. Uh, I'm looking for cheap, good comics. Eric is the man. So uh, anyway, I want to just post this. Uh, if you guys are in the St. Louis area in January, it's going to be worth the trip. CBCS will be on site. It'll be grading books. And there'll be a lot of back issues there to buy. So, that out of the way, I want to show you what I picked up today. <clears throat> this is at Bigfoot Comics in Granite City, Illinois. They do a show uh, four or five times a year. And uh, they have about, uh, it's a big comic store that's only open on the weekends. But they bring in uh, dealers. Uh, they put in a show about four or five times a year. And there's uh, anywhere from six to ten dealers in there. Not a real big crowd, but usually, you know, Eric's there. And there's usually a couple of dealers there. With Steve Jones is there. He's another friend of mine. They have some good books. So I'll show you what I picked up today. I spent $100 today, which is more than I wanted to spend, but I did, thought I did pretty well. First, I'll show off these treasuries. I bought some treasuries today. These are from Eric's Table. Get real good prices on them. I got these for the total of these. I paid I paid 30 bucks for the stack. There were more there. I kind of wish I would have bought more once he saw the price that he knocked them down to. But uh, anyway, 100 bucks is good enough for me. It's kind of my Christmas present for myself. Uh, so I picked up this issue of uh, the Giant Superhero Holiday Bag. I need this one. I've got, this is 76. I've got 74 and 75 already. I think this is the last of the holiday grab bags, I think. Here was the big one. Superman vs. Spider-Man. See, you know, it's a eh, mid-grade copy. It's got some staining up at the top. But it only had 20 bucks on it. And this book is, I go to shows, this book has gone through the roof. I had this as a kid that, you know, lost it years and years ago. I read it to dusty death. So uh, I bought this, and my son was very excited to see it. James was with me, my 10-year-old, and he can't wait to read it. So we're going to... He's going to open up later and read it. I also picked up Superman vs. Shazam. And Thor. I needed this Thor, and I think this is the second uh, Thor... In the treasury format, I think number six, maybe this is number ten. I think number six is the first one. I don't have that one either. This repeat, repre oh, excuse me, reprints the uh, Mangog saga, which is my all time favorite Thor saga and one of the highlights of Silver Age Marvel. Um, if you haven't read this, this is a great way to read the story. It's like four issues and it's Kirby at his very best uh, with the. Uh, Odin going in the Odin sleep and uh, Mangog and Ragnarok. It's just, I can't say enough about this story. It's a great story and this is a great way to read it. So, those are my treasuries. 30 bucks for that stack. That's not bad. So, the rest, all but one, came out of bargain boxes, dollar and two dollar boxes. And this stack cost me $60 total for these books. So I'll go through these real quick. This is where I live. Uh, comics from about 72 to 76 is my sweet spot. Uh, I didn't start buying comics until 74, but I think everybody has a little, a little bit of a, there's a little bit of magic about books that came out bef right before I think you started buying comics. So anything with a 20 cent cover, you know, Dr. Monchilla knows this. 20 cent covers, I love them. 20, 25 cent. I gotta have everything with 20 with a 20 or 25 cent cover. Uh, here's an issue of uh, Weird Suspense from Atlas Comics. I'm slowly picking up all the Atlas titles. There's probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 of these. The uh, comic company was only around for, I think, 1975, I think, was the only full year they published. Uh, I picked up that one and the second issue of The Grim Ghost. Those were a buck a piece. So I've got about a third of all the Atlas books now. In the final issue of OMAC, uh, 
an issue of Weird Western Tales, 20 cent cover, have to have it. A couple issue of Ghosts, that's number 18, and this is number 24. I love the uh, DC mystery titles, I love the covers. The stories are, you know, so-so. The covers are fantastic. Those black covers with the 20 cent price tag are just fabulous. They just give me the chills. <clears throat> I picked this up because it was a buck. Uh, I didn't have it, and I love Nova. Man Called Nova is one of my favorite Bronze Age books. So I just I picked that up. I got a few issues here of Creatures on the Loose. Number 20. Number 21. Number 23. With Thon Gore and Gulliver Jones, Warrior of Mars. This is the one book that I paid. I bought this from... Uh, Steve, this is the one book I paid more than $2 for. Uh, that was half off. I paid 7 bucks for that. Invaders number one. That's a nice book. And then I also got an Invaders number 31. A Frankenstein cover. I couldn't pass Frankenstein up. Okay, now here's a good chunk of Godzilla. These were in the dollar box. 12 13, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Three with the Marvel Universe teaming up against uh, Godzilla, and that's the final issue, 24. So those were in the one dollar box. That's not bad. Almost done with the Shadow now. I think I need two more issues of this Mike Kaluta, 19 Frank Robbins, 1970s Shadow. Here's issue five, issue seven, and issue nine. Almost done with the shadow. Two more issues. Found one issue of Doc Savage in the dollar box. Issue two. And five or six more of those. One of my favorite Marvel Bronze Age tiles, Worlds Unknown. We got two, five, and six. And uh, I'm just an issue, I think one or two issues away from filling out that run. It's a short run. There's only eight issues in Worlds Unknown. <clears throat> Finally, the, the big title I was able to knock a chunk out of is my favorite Marvel Bronze Age title, my favorite Bronze Age team, The Defenders. So I'll go through these real quick. 35, 37. I've always loved this cover. This is one of my favorite covers of Bronze Age. How can you not buy this book? I bought this as a kid. I that's I mean that's just action. See Luke Cage storming up that uh, hill, of, you know that barrage of thorns. I've always loved that cover. Thirty-eight. And that's another reason why I love the Defenders is you never knew who was going to pop into the book. You know Luke Cage, Son of Satan, Silver Surfer, the Hulk was in it of course. It's Forty-two. 44, that's Kirby cover, 46, issue 50, another one I bought off the rack, 51, 53, 54, 6 That's the end of the Defenders and then finally uh I got these next books these four or five books for 50 cents a piece they're beat but they're fun readers Marvel team up 19 issue 7 
issue 12 with the werewolf by night. Issue 25 with Daredevil. And 23 with Human Torch and Iceman. So those are pretty rough, but these are 50 cents a piece, so what the heck. So anyway, that's uh, my haul. And uh, again, if these, you know, if these are the type of books that you look for, I would encourage you to uh, make a trip to St. Louis uh, January 22nd. A lot of these dealers will be there. So, until next time, thanks for watching.